I'm about to turn into Nicole Arbor. Dear Dove, that's right, the company. Is your team on crack? I recently saw your new commercial about how overweight women get paid less. Now, of course, I agree that it's messed up and everyone should be paid equally. But have you ever thought that it may be that way to encourage people to be at a healthy weight? Now, I know I'm currently no poster child for being at a healthy weight, but that's because I've barely been exercising. I only take my dogs out to walk and not even for long walks anymore. And I also eat lots of junk food, even if it is vegan. I may not be gaining weight, but I'm not losing it either. The fact is that healthy diet and exercise is important. Now, of course, I wish the whole world would become vegan and everybody would be a lot healthier. But we can't all get what we want now, can we? But your commercial promotes the idea that it's okay to be overweight. It's not. I may not be obese, but I am overweight. Do you even know what I experience on a daily basis? My whole body is in pain every single day, especially my lower back. And when I have my period, huh, I have cramps like you wouldn't believe. Ovarian cysts, yeah, I have them. And I have a lot of them too, because I'm overweight. They get bigger and bigger over time, and then they burst. Then guess what? More pain. Overweight women have an increased chance of having multiple ovarian cysts. Know what else? Those cysts can become tumors. You hear that? Cancer. All because you have too much fat on your body. Then there's the increased risk of heart disease, heart attack, stroke, all different kinds of cancers, diseases, being more susceptible to different viruses going around, and, and so on. So Dove, you really want to tell me that it's okay to be overweight? That's like looking at someone who's vegan, takes care of themselves, works out, eats healthy, and, you know, basically lives a good life. And another person who doesn't eat healthy at all, doesn't exercise at all, just keeps packing on the pounds and eats all kinds of processed meat and dairy and, of course, all junk food, I might add. And you look at these two people and this person who is already dying on the operating table because of heart failure, because of not taking care of themselves. And you're looking at both of them and then telling the healthy person that they're an a-hole because they're taking care of themselves. Even though this same person tried to help the dying person to change their lifestyle, and yet they didn't. Because some people just don't want to be helped and they just keep on going and going and going and they do not take care of themselves because they just want to keep feeling sorry for themselves. Dove, you still want to tell me that being overweight is okay? In those circumstances and with all of that pain, all of that sickness, all of that just horrible life, you want to tell me that being overweight is okay? Dove, you may want to encourage sick people to get more sick, but for me personally, I am tired of all the constant pain, the constant sickness, the constant feeling like I'm worse than crap, and just the daily struggle to get out of bed at all. I am tired of it. And that's why I am changing my habits. By this time next year, I'll be fit, healthy, and happy to get out of bed every single day. Now, of course, I may have to deal with my seizures once in a while, but I'm not going to let that stop me this time like I have before. I'm not going to let my epilepsy stop me from being healthy. Honestly, I don't care about being politically correct feeding people's desire to be coddled and just, oh, you're overweight, that's okay, that's okay. No, it's not. Because it's not, really. And being an honest person, telling people like it is, you know what, it's kind of hard to be like, oh, poor you. 
really, if you're just gonna be like, oh, poor me, poor me, poor me, and not do anything about it, sorry, but, you know, I'm gonna tell you straight to your face. You're not doing anything about it, so stop whining about it. If you're not gonna do anything about it, I don't wanna hear about it. If you are gonna do something about it, then sure, okay. Talk about it, talk about your plan to change whatever situation you're in. Then okay, talk about it. But, if you're gonna be negative, talking about how much pain you're in, how much you have to deal with, and you're doing nothing to get out of that. Just shut up. Sure, I still have this, 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 this should not do this, okay? This should not be like this. This, this is gonna be gone next year. I'm not afraid to show what I am not going to have anymore, okay? Because I have the drive. I have the drive to get out, to do what I have to do in order to be healthy because I am sick and tired of just feeling this way. So, sorry Dove, sorry that you are telling people that, yeah, it's okay to be fat, it's okay to have uh, heart disease, it's okay to have strokes, it's okay to get colon cancer, it's okay to just, you know, get tumors because you have too many ovarian cysts that have turned into tumors. It's okay to have problems having pregnancy. And you know what? I'm not saying that it's okay to be anorexic or bulimic or whatever because it's not either, okay? Like I was saying, I want to be at a healthy weight. Healthy weight. That means not being overweight and not being underweight. So being vegan, it's much easier to deal with that. I can healthier foods, I can stop going out and getting my vegan burgers, and I can stop sitting on my butt all day and exercise, and not just take my dogs out for like a 10 minute walk, I can take them out for like maybe an hour. Dove, what happened to you man? You should be promoting people actually exercising, you know, and eating healthy and if you want to really make a change in the world promote veganism promote healthy food not meat not dairy not crap healthy food now if you like that please come back for more like subscribe and be sure to tell your friends it's where it's not a